He signs for Celtic. About the game in a moment, but first the M8 traffic jam caused by footballers in transit shows no signs of easing after the Hibs money on McKinley, a player whose well-known love for the Parkhead club has always been matched by his reputation as a fully committed professional with Dundee and Hearts. The move means Hearts have lost four top defenders within a week. Alan McLaren to Rangers, McKinley to Celtic and Craig Levine and Graham Hogg to the Sinbin for the next ten games. A satisfied smile on the face of Tosh McKinley today as he fulfilled a long-held ambition to sign for Celtic. Manager Tommy Burns had wasted no time in spending the cash generated yesterday by the sale of Pat McGinley. Well, well it was on monthly month contracts as everybody knew at Hearts and I think when you're in that situation you're playing every game as your last game sort of thing. And uh, I was doing okay there but I'm just ha happy that the uncertainty, everything's sorted out now and I'm, I'm at Celtic Park. We sold, sold Pat on basically to, to, to get the money that we can go in and, and bring in somebody that's going to play for us every week. Whereas in uh, Paddy's case, you know, he was playing wide and right uh, and I don't think he was particularly happy there. Um, and basically it was getting to the stage where we couldn't really guarantee him a game. So I think I mean, it's better for him to go and, and get a game with Hibs regularly. And we can bring in a player that we feel will play for us regularly. As Tommy said, he's maybe admired my play for, for a wee while now. And it, but I did look at it when he got the job that he might, he might come in for me. Uh, thankfully he did come in for me and, and I'm here. McKinley's been a regular at Tyne Castle for six years. Pushing up the left to support the attack has been his 40 in the past. And Celtic will now switch Tom Boyd from left back to right back to accommodate their latest signing. 